After ejecting Prince Harry and Meghan from Frogmore Cottage, King Charles will extend an olive branch by offering them a Buckingham Palace apartment when they visit the country. But it's also been rumored he plans on telling them to pay for their own place to stay. According to the Mail on Sunday, when Harry and Meghan visit Britain in the future, King Charles will extend an olive branch by letting them stay at Buckingham Palace. Later this year, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are scheduled to hand over the keys to their former British residence, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. But if they require it, they might be given the chance to stay in Prince Andrew's former palace suite, where he once hosted the socialite Gisseline Maxwell and model Caprice. It is the most recent step in the intricate web of royal estates that the king's intentions to streamline the monarchy and eliminate benefits for non-working royals have set in action. Prince Andrew, who has resided at Windsor's 30-room Royal Lodge residence for more than 20 years, is reportedly the recipient of Charles's offer to move to Frogmore. Once Andrew and his ex-wife Sarah, Duchess of York, go, discussions are being held over whether Prince William and his family might move into Royal Lodge, which is said to require major renovations. Although being quite happy there, the Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children are currently residing in Windsor's much smaller Adelaide Cottage, which is deemed unsuitable for long-term habitation. According to a source, Eugenie, Andrew's youngest daughter, who is expecting her second child and was previously renting Frogmore from her cousin Harry, may be offered Adelaide Cottage. Andrew utilized the chamber floor, an apartment in Buckingham Palace, for many years. But, he had to give up his London hideaway after losing his military positions and royal support due to his connections to the disgraced pedophile and child sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein. Virginia Jufer, an Epstein victim, sued Andrew in the U.S., and he agreed to a sizable settlement, but he continues to adamantly deny any wrongdoing. The Duke of York's possessions, including his assortment of teddy bears and plush toys that palace servants had to arrange precisely on his bed each day, have been removed from Buckingham Palace. Moreover, moving vans have been seen on the Windsor estate. Harry and Meghan, who left the royal family three years ago and currently reside in a nine-bedroom, 12 million pounds home in Montecito, California, have been told they had until the autumn to transfer any things out of Frogmore Cottage. The couple will still be invited to the king's coronation in May, according to palace officials who stated last night, despite Harry's blunt criticism of his family in his biography spare. The couple, according to sources close to the king and the queen consort, were furious and wearied by the shocking revelations in Prince Harry's book, in which he labeled his stepmother dangerous and said his brother William once slammed him to the ground in a fit of wrath. In TV interviews, Harry has requested an apology from his family, although it is believed that he has not spoken to either his father or brother since the book's publication in January. According to a source, William and His Majesty are both incensed. The king, though, is a decent man. He doesn't want to see his brother Andrew without a home or money. Additionally, he doesn't want to deny the Sussexes a base in the UK. London fits better. The Sussex family has long desired accommodations at Buckingham Palace. They might have Andrew's previous quarters, which are currently empty. The pair is also thinking about staying in St. James Palace or perhaps Princess Diana's former residence, the opulent apartment one at Kensington Palace, which is vacant and undergoing renovation. Andrew has reportedly realized that he won't be able to keep Royal Lodge, where he has lived for 20 years, according to insiders in Windsor. According to legend, he had plenty of time to get ready for the news after learning about the plan when his mother, the Queen, was still living. Royal Lodge is considerably too opulent and spacious for Prince Andrew's current standing, a source.